Now here we are feeding our red eared sliders. Hello. This is Lumpy and Godzilla. Looking a little hungry. I'll actually start them here in a little bit. Now, I've been giving them a different food too, mainly because we're out of the regular one. Um and out of extreme concern for the water quality. I like to feed them outside the cage, as you can see. Some people do not like to wait. Is that correct, Snappy? Hey, Snappy. Hello, hello, hello. Snappy's a yellow belly slider. My hello, Snappy. And there is African side neck. Snappy would like to eat. Now, I don't usually feed them outside the cage. It depends. I like to, but a lot of times I find it just inconvenient and in the uh, concern for time, I do a water change anyway. About once a week, I will just go ahead and feed them in the tank because you can see they get real upset about waiting and beg and beg and beg for food. Godzilla's got the stance, one of my favorites. <laughs> He's got his feet and his shell, his front feet. And his little big flippers out in the back. But front feet in, head out. And you can barely see his back feet. I love when they do that. You just see their head. Maybe their back feet. Hello. Am I scaring you? Anyways, oops, I poked you in the face with the food, I'm sorry. Sorry, I keep scaring you. Uh, Lumpy's a female. And Godzilla's a male, as you can see. You camera shy. And I will come and feed these two shortly. I'll give them oh, maybe a half hour, 15, 20 minutes usually is when I'll give them their food in the water before I decide they don't need any more. But you're hungry. I know. I know you're hungry. Why, hello there. This is Snappy 2.0. And this is Petey Pie, the African side neck, who are waiting in line to be fed. Are you not? Are you not? You look so cute, I wanted to scratch you. But I would drop the phone into the water. I don't want that to happen. No, here you come. You can't wait, can you? Another reason why you want to feed them in a separate container is so you can be sure that everybody's eaten and how much they've had. So first thing you want to notice as an owner and a keeper, if they are not eating much or they're really sluggish or lethargic in their feeding response, um, they might have a problem. Now the first thing you'll do with that is examine the animal, see if there's any kind of injuries or any signs of disease. Like basically you just need to know what a normal animal looks like, slash red or slider right here. And when you see something that's abnormal, that way you'll notice it right away. So examine your animal, watch them a lot when they're healthy and everything's fine. So that way if something happens, and hopefully it won't, you'll be able to spot pretty quick that they're having a health issue, like a rash or a fungus or a bacteria infection. Sometimes you'll get that with water turtles. But one of the main reasons for lethargic eating response is cold. The animal is cold. So what you'll do is increase the heat of the water with a heat lamp. Make sure you only heat up one side of the tank and make sure they have a warm basking spot. And so once they become warmed up in general, they'll have a better feeding response and be able to digest their food better. And you are next.
get your food next. You get your food next. Um, so do you. I'm sorry, you have to wait. I won't forget. I never forget. Okay, you're next. As soon as they're done. See how that water's already getting a little bit murky and filmy with the uh, extra food. And that way your filters don't have to work quite as hard. Anyway, I will see you later. Bye.